Hello, my name is Alexis Slaughter, and for my topic presentation, I'm going to be talking about Sharia, forcing Islamic law. Now, to start off with, what is Sharia? Well, its literal translation comes out to the clear, well-trodden path to water. Sharia is the Muslim's code of how to live their everyday lives, such as how to pray and fast. Sharia is also Islam's legal system. Parts of Sharia are influenced by Islam's central text, known as Quran, and also Islam's scholar rulings, known as Fatwas. Now, this may seem similar to the Word of Wisdom in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. However, Sharia is nothing like that, and is actually very strict, unfair, and unforgiving. Let's talk about some of Sharia's traditional laws. The penal law is basically an eye for an eye system. If I were to hit you, you could hit me back. If I were to break something of yours, you could break something of mine. But it only applies to small things like that. Sharia's traditional family laws are unfair because men have more power over women. For example, a father can contract his daughter into a marriage, and it does not matter if she is an adult or a child. Now, if the daughter is not a virgin, she must accept the marriage. However, if the daughter is a virgin, she can take it to court and fight against it. Possibly. Husbands can perform polygamy, but they cannot have any more than four wives. And for each wife, the husband must pay the wife a dower, which is some sort of money or some of his legal estates, something valuable. Now, if the wife were to divorce him or leave him, she has to give it back to him. And for a wife to divorce her husband, she has to have a good reason, such as abuse or neglect. But the husband can divorce his wife whenever he feels like it and for no reason. Women have strict rules when it comes to what they can wear, unlike men. For a woman, usually they have to completely cover themselves from head to toe, and sometimes even covering their whole entire face. And if they do not fulfill these requirements, they can be physically punished. This brings us into our next section of Sharia's penalties. The first type of offense in the Sharia is Tazir. This is for less serious crimes where a judge may decide the punishment. However, it is unclear to me what those lesser crimes are because every crime seems to be a had offense. Had was created in 1979 after an Islamic revolution. Had covers serious crimes that have set penalties that are not negotiable. Most of these punishments tend to be amputation or death. Such as if you steal something, you get that hand chopped off. And if you commit adultery, you are stoned to death. However, not all Muslim countries follow this law. Now after hearing all of this, you may think, why don't more people leave the Muslim religion? Well, there are two reasons for that. The first reason is that many Muslim countries have made Sharia its supreme law. For example, Pakistan's Prime Minister declared this in 1998. The second reason is that many people who try to convert to a different religion from the Muslim religion tend to be punished by death. That is all I have to say for my topic presentation. I hope you learned something interesting about Sharia, and thank you for watching.